Well, former President Donald Trump's actions after losing the 2020 election are still the subject of federal and state investigations. One of the key players in the aftermath of that election is also facing legal fallout. Conservative attorney John Eastman today began defending himself against 11 disciplinary charges brought by the State Bar of California. The hearings are scheduled to take more than a week. And at the end, the court could recommend that Eastman's license to practice law in the state be suspended or revoked. Eastman was hired by Donald Trump to represent him in December of 2020 in connection with the 2020 presidential general election, including matters related to the Electoral College. In that capacity, Eastman drafted a memo in which he argued that then-Vice President Mike Pence had the power to overturn the election results while presiding over the counting of electoral votes on January 6, 2021. That theory, of course, underpinned much of the rage against Pence by the mob that stormed the Capitol that day. But this disciplinary hearing is not the only major consequence that Eastman may be facing. FBI agents seized Eastman's cell phone last summer reportedly at the behest of the Justice Department's Inspector General. Also last summer, federal judge agreed that his emails should be released to congressional investigators because he found it, quote, more likely than not that President Trump and Dr. Eastman dishonestly conspired to obstruct the joint session of Congress on January 6, 2021. And last winter, the January 6 investigation in the House referred Eastman to the Justice Department for prosecution. Presumably, that referral, along with whatever the FBI found on Eastman's cell phone, have been passed on to special counsel Jack Smith. He's yet to announce any results of his criminal investigation into January 6. And we are also awaiting charging decisions by Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Eastman testified before her special purpose grand jury last summer. Maybe this is a good time to remind you that shortly after January 6, Eastman wrote an email to fellow Trump attorney... Rudy Giuliani, in which he said, and I quote, I've decided I should be on the pardon list if that is still in the works.